lost my balance I fell from the trapeze This act isn't easy I've been underwater This storm has been raging These nights are not sleeping My dreams are now strangers to me And I need you now There's too many miles on my bones I can't carry the weight of the world No, not on my own like water This place is a desert I've been walking in circles I'm screaming for answers Am I falling to pieces Or maybe I'm finally Breaking through, I need you now There's too many miles in my bones I can't carry the weight of the world No, not on my own No more running, no more hiding, no more hurting, no more crying, no more trouble, no more sighing, no more falling, no more striving, no more hiding, no more fighting, no more feelings, only fighting, no more So, my name is Shane Langford. Uh, this is my wife Wendy. This is Ryan. Uh, this is our other, uh, our son Knox, and our our son Graham is shy and upstairs. Um, and our journey with Ryan started off with basically him, in a sense, being dropped off at our doorstep about two years ago. When he came to us, we thought, okay, we kind of we're still kind of program minded. But the birth of this ministry kind of came out of relationship. We we got to know Ryan. We started to love Ryan and started really kind of at the core understand what life without that like safety net of family and relationship, um, what a struggle that is. And so that's why the video you see, it's not, we don't have a whole lot of checklists or, um, you know, lots of milestones to share. 
the biggest core of our ministry is that we give these boys that come into our home a relationship, um, that we can develop that close community alongside them so that they can have uh-huh. kind of the safe place to take risks and Bye. kind of launch yeah. off into adulthood. We help with, you know, kind of scheduling and um, transportation to jobs and just okay. using our kind of social network to connect them to the right people. And um, But it's not a one-sided thing. Like the idea that Ryan came to us and we have just been this amazing um, force in his life is not really true. It's been absolutely a mutual growth here. Like uh, In the beginning, I was just tired and I didn't really f- feel like... She ignored me. Doing anything. I didn't even say hi to him when he first came to house. I loved him right away. I was excited to just get him into a program. It's on my phone. It was good. Yeah, so the first the first night, Shane was really like taking him to the barbershop and took him to get Chinese. And all that stuff, man. And in the very beginning, we really were kind of program minded. We we wanted to do things for him. Um, But as it's evolved, we saw Uh, there is real a real need for this ministry. Um, We need people that are willing to do life with these kids mm-hmm. um, it's it's hard and it's um, they come from a place of a lot of brokenness and but the awesome part is the relationship that we've built this really yeah you know, I've really embraced Ryan as son like he's a part of our I can't imagine my life really She's without my him. Mom. it's a chance to really be hands and feet uh, and and be a living example of how Jesus loved the oh, broken um, and it's not it's not easy. Again, what Wendy said, we're not super super Christians by any and means. And we're broken ourselves. Right? But we're always reminded if we're going to be different, if we're going to be like Christ, we've got to show forgiveness and grace. Once in a while you're bonded, but eventually, you know what I mean, like you just go separate ways. Um, that's definitely a, a big struggle for me is, you know, having people to connect with. Since my family wasn't didn't want to connect with me, I was mm-hmm. like searching find out who can I connect with I definitely I mean I don't like it's like past bonding (laughs) I would say I mean it's like family now I mean bonding isn't even like a word I would use to describe my love for this family because I mean you know I when I first came like I you know me I used to talk to Wendy like every single night for like a year straight and um, I really never used to talk to Shane at all like I would see Shane we'd eat together and stuff like that and Mm. You know, through time, we, I, now we talk all the time. We go out to eat and stuff yeah, like that, yeah. and it everything just takes time. We yeah. certainly hope that other families might consider doing what we're doing. You know, we're certainly available. Phone call, email. We'll drive cross country to sit and visit and share. You know, that really what we do is it's it's special in its own way. But what we provide is something that everybody's. You know, if you already have a family, you're already doing it. And we're completely support, a support raising ministry. So all that we do here is through the support of people in our church, in the community, um, donations that people make. Yeah, uh, I mean, I have a, I have a tent making job. You know, Paul talks about how he supported himself while he was uh, ministering, <clears throat> but that's only five to six hours a day, and uh, you know, the Lord always provides what we need, but. The goal really is to be able to be present 24-7, if the Lord allows it, so we could be on-site full-time mentors of these young men. Yeah. So consider consider supporting Loving the Lost Boys. Um, you can find us on our webpage, lovingthelostboys.com. You can find us on Facebook. Um, please call us if you want us to speak at your church um, or in a living room. You know, we'll share. We love coffee. We're <laughs> always up for a coffee chat. Mug. Can yeah. you mean mug? <laughs> <laughs> That's hysterical. Well, there we go. That's, That's a perfect ending. <laughs>